Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, welcome back, welcome, hello, what's up? That was the longest freaking introduction I've ever done. Today I'm going to be talking to you a bit about family and BPD. When I was first diagnosed with BPD, borderline personality disorder for those of you who don't know, my family... <laughs> I remember the phone call I made to my mom after the appointment where I got diagnosed. I was like, oh, they diagnosed me with BPD. She was like, what's that? I was like, borderline personality disorder. And she was like, borderline what? I was like, no, just borderline personality disorder. That's the diagnosis. And then she Googled it. She fucking Googled it. And <sighs> the thing I hate about when people Google a condition rather than speaking to a person who knows about it is Google has so much misinformation out there. The information on Google makes out like people with BPD, including myself, are attention seekers, don't really, they think it's just emotional, like emotion dysregulation. And it's not, it's so much more than that. But now the issue is every time I, when I last attempted suicide, my mom was like, oh, it's just because you got BPD. I was like, no. I was like, it's because my flashbacks were getting too bad and my anxiety was bad. It was nothing to do with BPD. Like, BPD isn't even my primary diagnosis. That really did get to me. And it's so hard when you have a family that don't really understand what you're going through because you're then left and you can't talk to them about it because they're so misinformed about it that it just stigmatises everything and it takes away from why you actually want to speak with them. My family assume that because I'm diagnosed with BPD, again not primary diagnosis, they assume that I, when I'm struggling, like when I'm self-harming or when I'm suicidal, that it's attention seeking because I need the attention and it's got nothing to do with wanting attention. In fact, in that mindset, I don't ever want people to think that I am attention seeking. I often avoid other people when I'm like that. I'm talking really fast. My family when I was diagnosed with BPD was a little off me. I tried to explain this a bit earlier but then I got interrupted by people opening and closing the door and making noises. So now moving on to how I educated my mom and got her to understand is I let her see my life. As in I didn't like give her a link to my YouTube channel. God I couldn't survive if that happened. I showed her videos on YouTube, not my own, but I showed her what BPD actually is and how it affects people because when I first start told her about the dissociative symptoms she presumed it was a hallucination. So it was quite hard and my tips for the telling your parents, talking to people about it, would be to just be blunt with them. Tell them what symptoms you experience. Tell them, if you're on medication, explain the medications for the symptoms, not for BPD itself. Explain what a personality disorder is. Explain the basics and have them understand it all the time in my life. And that's the university alarm. I'll have to finish this video when I get back. Like about seven-ish, which I started the video up late, but uni alarm. <sighs> Alright, so to continue on from what I was saying earlier, with BPD there's often a lot of misconceptions, especially when it comes to relationship breakdowns and toxic growing up. Like my mom blames me and the way I acted as a kid as to why I am the way I am, why I got treated the way I got treated. Reality setting in, no, I acted the way I acted because she abused me, she hit me. I, I, I wasn't being over dramatic with that. Like, that was why, but she put, put it all down to BPD. While I went to uni, I asked people if they had anything they wanted to know about in this video, like specific areas I want to cover. I'm going to quickly go on to Twitter and find all of these. I think I screenshot them on my phone. I hate the misconception that with BPD you, you were volatile, manipulating, that you have no empathy, which is not something that I am or anyone who I knew with the condition. It's very true very true. I find a lot of the time people assume you're trying to manipulate them and that you know, you're gonna be like some horrible person because all the internet promotes is the negative symptoms and yes there are a lot I'm not gonna sit here and tell us but you have to give it a big shove and realize there are positive things that we're not horrible people. So the question for us how did Lydia's parents react when they heard the three letters BPD? So, my family reacted in a way that wasn't the best. No one in my family understood what it was. My mom didn't even know borderline personality disorder was a thing. She was like, borderline between one mom, that's the name of the condition. It took me about an hour to convince her that it was even a thing. Which, it hurts, to be honest. It hurts to think that, but it's true. And I think when your family is unsupportive, it puts you down and you're more likely to be self-destructive. 
personally if you want my thoughts are if you want to talk to your family about it start a conversation and if they don't want to hear it make them listen somehow i did it by starting to post stuff on facebook about bpd i just posted loads of bpd facts having a supportive family around can be really helpful so it, if you want support from your family go out of your way to get it you can even buy books like you can buy literal kids books that explain it and i'm going to do a whole other video talking about kids and explaining mental health because I I want to have like a conversation with people like what do you think do you think people should like kids should be educated on mental health because I do not in like the extreme ways but I think just educating them like what on different disorders giving examples of what it could be and if anyone gets concerned speak to your teacher I think if we was taught about it at a younger age it'd be so much easier and for me I have two younger sisters the 14 year old one, she knows about my mental health, she follows me on Twitter and her, I, one of her friends watches my videos, so she knows a lot about my mental health. The other one is six and she knows nothing about mental health and I wouldn't put it on her for the world. She's too young, I think you, like, I guess it's 12, 13, good age to learn about mental health. Like if you've got a sibling who struggles with her mental health it can be really hard to live with so I think in that case that it should just be a regular conversation, like just check in, you know? I think that would really help a lot of people. Yeah, and my family didn't react great to my mental health and the BPD diagnosis. I want to know your experiences though, like if you've had a similar experience let me know in the comments down below if, what, how your family reacted to your mental health diagnosis, whether it was BPD or not, I want to know how your family responded. As you know, let's have a conversation about it and maybe I can do a answering comment video on this, that'd be cool. But with that in mind, I'm going to end this video here, I will see you guys in my next video, like, comment, subscribe, you know, the usual, we're so close to 3.6k which is absolutely amazing we're literally three subscribers away with that in mind i'll see you guys soon with a new video peace